Still trying to finish up all of my wiring and make sure all my switching is correct with my voltmeter and turning on my controller. Uh, how I have it wired right now is I'm using the switch on my throttle. I toned it out and found out which uh, two wires operated the switch. And I have my voltmeter and my controller wired to that. So when I come over here and I push this little red button, it turns on my voltage meter and it reads up to 83 volts. I rode around a teeny bit yesterday, so it's a, about half a volt down from where it normally is. So all I do is push that button, and it turns the bike on, turns it off. Simple as that. Now, obviously, if I touch the throttle, the thing would go crazy. Oh, wow. Almost just flipped over on me. But yeah, that works. I just got back from the hardware store, and now it's time to finally finish mounting my battery packs permanently. And what I got here is a big roll of heavy-duty Velcro, and it's got sticky backs. So I'm going to be applying it uh, at first to the piece of aluminum stock and sticking down the first long battery pack, and then I'm going to layer it in between each battery pack and Velcro them down. So I just cut a piece of the heavy-duty Velcro to length, and I'm laying it down the 2-inch aluminum stock. And I'm going to be doing the same exact thing for the piece of the long battery pack. And then I'm going to stick it together. Simple as that. And the first long battery pack has its Velcro stuck onto it as well. Now I'm going to mount this pack back onto the bike. I have all the packs uh, stuck together with the Velcro and I got a couple of large zip ties holding them in place right now. I'm having a little trouble fitting my uh, 100 amp battery master switch where I want it. So for right now I still have it temped out on the wire nuts just for the main battery leads. Everything else is pretty much done, soldered and ready. Cut the lights off in here so you can see the uh, LED display a little better. Give it a little throttle and it fluctuates down 79 volts. Everything's permanently mounted and uh, everything's working great. I don't have any issues. I used the heavy duty Velcro to mount the battery packs in and I secured them with some of these large uh, zip ties. I just made sure everything was tightened up. I just neatened up all the wiring so that nothing's really sticking out off of the frame. It's all very, very centered. It only sticks out maybe an inch on each side. Voltmeter is still doing good. And I have two wire nuts in here temporarily that are just hooking it up to my main battery, but everything else is permanently done. And as you can see, I mounted the battery master switch in there. It was a tight fit, but it all fit. And I'll give you a little demo here. Grab the key and you just pop it in here. Give that a turn. Now you come up to my throttle here, and you're just going to push the little button, and you notice the voltage will come on. And it's reading 81.1 volts. Pack's a little dead. I finally got my Anderson connectors hooked up to my charging leads and I got the bike plugged in and it's the first time being charged with the batteries built into the frame. Uh, since I have my battery master switch installed now, I can now shut that off and it breaks the 72 volt connection and it allows me to charge my battery pack at 36 volts. So. The charge takes a little bit longer, but it's one way of doing it without having to buy a really expensive charger. So I have a 10 cell charger right here, and it's uh, charging the pack up. Let's see how long it takes and uh, get the thing back up and running.